Good morning. I call this meeting of the Senior Activity Center Commission um, open um, on May 15th at 8 a.m. Um, if we can all go around the room and uh, say who we are. I'm Stephanie Getz, Chair. Emily Randall Araujo, Director of Senior Services. Pat Natasha Torrey, member. Keith Jacks, member. Randy Meyer, member. Joe uh, Island, all of our representatives. All right. And Cindy, do you want to introduce yourself too? Cindy Rash, member. All right. We can all stand and face east for the Pledge of Allegiance. The United States of America and the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right. So, approval of the minutes from the March 20th meeting. Um, any discussion regarding the meeting minutes for the 20th of March? No. If not, I'll ask for approval. Motion. So Excellent. All right. We'll move on to the senior services. It's not to vote to approve. Oh, yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Cool. All right. Uh, moving on to the senior services financial review. All right. So hopefully everybody had a chance to look at this in the packet. Um, this is prepared by my um, exceptional colleagues in the finance department and they just wanted to make note wanted me to share um, not to be alarmed by the property tax levy that that big line item basically at some point throughout the city year they make a journal entry to move things there so it says year to date actual they just do it at some point so it's not, not anything we need to um, worry about but so basically on the income side at the top um, about 10,000 out of 50,000 for membership fees, um, 7,300 out of $10,000 for advertising. So I think that's one that if we, we still have two thirds of the year to go, we're probably gonna exceed that 10,000. Um, program service fees, um, cafe revenue kind of right on track. Uh, things start to cool down this, this time of the year. And then trip profits, um, we did just finish our crew trip and so how Mayflower does it is they cut a commission check after the trip. Um, also later this month, I have, uh, we have a May, um, a bus trip to Mackinac. So that'll be more coming in from that one. Um, any questions about money coming in? Okay. And then below the money going out, um, pretty straightforward here. Any, any questions? Concerns? Is the cafe revenue down then? Um, I would have to look last, it's a little hard because of how the accounting has changed this year over last year. I don't know that it's necessarily down number wise. Um, we really did the most of our cafe sales last year in Q4. Um, and a lot of people came through using um, vouchers from the vaccine grant um, that for folks who came and got their vaccines here at Uptown Social, they got a, a, a voucher for a meal. Um, that granting organization has uh, recently opened up the process to ask for extension funds. So I'll be applying for extension funds and um, yeah, hopefully we can do that. Oh, good morning, Candace. Hi. Was there income from the block product? Yeah, but that is to the friends. Um, if for the for the recording, there was a question about the brat fry, but that went to the friends. Um, the, the net proceeds from the brat fry were about thirty five hundred dollars, which is pretty amazing for a brat fry. So I know Randy put in a lot of time, and um, we have a lot of volunteers. That's it. Um, contracted services. Contracted services are things like um, pest removal or you know pest services, um, snow removal, that sort of thing. Um, I'm I might dig into that one because it's higher than normal, and I'm wondering if there might be some things that are attributed there that should be somewhere else.
Any other questions or comments or discussion on the financial review? No. All right. Do we need to approve it? I don't think so. Okay. All right. If Emily would like to take us through the usage static. Sure, sure. So you can see here, um, kind of, it's been really consistent now for at least the last six months that we, our membership really seems to hover between 1400 and 1450. There's always memberships that are um, expiring and then of course, uh, new memberships coming in. So that seems to be our equilibrium point there. Um, again, unique visitors, kind of the same thing, usually about 700 to 800 unique visitors a month. Um, our average daily attendance did spike quite a bit in March, um, and I, part of that is probably weather related where more folks were coming in general, but then we also had a couple special events I think that drew in. We, we know that we have a pocket of people that come only when we have special events. So there were some people I think that we don't normally see that came for some stuff at that time. And then um, new attendees seems to be leveling off, dropping off, which I, I think is kind of um, indicative that we're hitting saturation where people know who we are. But any questions about usage or attendance? I will say that now, now is when we start to see that drop off for the summer months. So even even now in May, we can feel it where fewer people are coming because it's nice and they're spending time outside, which is fine with us. Any questions or discussion about usage? Um, Sheboygan Press, Best of Sheboygan County, Uptown Social is in which categories? Um, I forget which category. 55 plus, 55 plus like community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there was one more, but I can't remember. So definitely you can go online and vote for Uptown Social, unless Sheboygan Cedar Community is in that line, which they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else for the order? All right, our next meeting is July 17th at 8 a.m. here. Um, I hope there's just as much noise from the construction. <laughs> so exciting to see the gym being worked on. Um, and then I believe there's an open house this evening for the coal inhabitants. Yeah, the um, Lakeshore Regional Child Advocacy Center is about to start construction on the east side of the building. So they have a they have a private event this afternoon before. Um, I think supporters and potential supporters. So I'll be making an appearance over there. But we're, we will likely have two construction companies working side by side for the next <laughs> four to six months. <laughs> so if, you know, there it's already noisy, and it, I, I think it's good that it's all happening at the same time, and it's our downtime. Right. Yeah. It's all summer. Yeah. And yeah. it's good noise. It is good it's noise. Good it is good. Good. a little shocking sometimes, yeah. but, but <laughs> productive noise. All right, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All three. Aye. 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 Aye